Guys, welcome back. This is AldisAcademy.net and we are in lesson 6 on programming and configuring the mode MZC system. The topic of lesson 6 is looking at the mode 3, which is the wireless version of the mode 3.1 keypad. What you can see in front of you is how this is wired. At the moment you can't see that, but if you bear with me. So as you can see, the speakers are plugged in via speaker cable, as you would expect. Now, the wired mode keypads are specific to the zone that they are docked in, which means this particular keypad will only ever be able to control this particular pair of speakers. That's because, as you've seen in the previous lessons, that this mode volume wheel cannot control another zone's volume. Therefore, if you want a keypad which is a global to the entire installation, it would need to be a mode 3 keypad. The mode 3 keypad has two ways of communicating with the MZC. The first method is via RJ45 5 cable, which connects to a keypad port. When it's connected to a keypad port, it becomes specific to the port that it is docked into, or the rather, it becomes specific to the port where the, the dock is wired into. When it is not in its dock, it's no longer communicating via the dock and this Cat5 cable. So when it is in a wireless operation, it's communicating with the mode coordinator. The mode coordinator is a data orientated product, so it wires into the data bus, also known as expansion ports. If you have multiple devices you wish to wire into this port, you would use the loop output on the coordinator to wire into your next device. So this once again is the physical connections that you would need to make in order to bring the mode free into the, into the system. Let's quickly once again recap on the programming that you would be required in order to make this work. So going back to the project that we've been working on throughout this session of tutorials we click on our keypad as you can see this is what the mode 3 keypads looks like the mode 3 I mean and as you can see in the name it says mode 3.1 slash 3 so you add this keypad and all you do is address it and then the address will speak to the address of the actual dock of which it sits in so when it's docked, it will use the address. It needs to line up with the address that's physically here. Otherwise, your keypad will display zone setup. If your keypad displays zone setup, it could be for a number of reasons. As I've just said, it could be because the address is incorrect. It also could be because there's no keypad program for that zone. It also could be because the data connection between the MZC and the keypad is not there. So if you ever see zone setup, check those three things and ensure that you have punched down on a wired keypad completely, otherwise you may get the zone setup message. If you get a zone setup message when it's docked, it means that the wired connection back to the unit isn't correct. So, in order to set up a mode 3 keypad, if I had a zone where I didn't have a keypad set up. So I'm just going to remove this keypad from this zone and select apply. So by just taking away the addresses I've got rid of this keypad in this zone. So there's no longer a mode 3.1 keypad in this zone. That would mean if I was to undock the mode 3 keypad in zone 1 it would show me all five zones apart from zone 6 because there's no keypad in this zone so it has no keypad to mimic so if you want your mode 3 to control the entire installation you need to make sure that there's mode 3 keypads in all installs in all zones I mean this is the same as if you were setting up for a third party device you need to ensure that the mode 3.1 free keypad is there if you're controlling it via the data bus So apart from this, this is all the setup that's required for mode 3. It's the same as a mode 3.1, however it is wireless. And as per the slide, you can see how it is wired. This was just a short video, but please join us in the next one.
where we'll show you more in regards to setting up the mode system. In particular, we're going to have a look at the speakercraft muting relay. Thank you.